Hey folks, we're going to go ahead and walk through the slide deck for Pirate Math Equation Quest. You can at any time go to the Pirate Math Equation Quest website and see all of the manuals that you can download, the student workbooks, and then there are videos for every component. What we're going to talk about here today is how we created a digital version and the pieces that we added in that we think will help build your math community and your students' mathematical identity. Eureka was really terrific about including the SEL instructional framework. We want to be using warm openers, engaging activities, and hopeful endings. We always used this treasure map uh, background, and then with the red background, you're able to see that we're looking at warm openers. And then we offer those engaging activities with the treasure map and the green background, as well as those hopeful endings with the blue background. These are really important and we want to allow time because if we continue to teach students without giving them time to make sense of their thinking, and to give them ways to hate, uh, hang on to their new learning, we won't see the same growth. So we really wanna build these into our structure, whether we're doing interventions or core instruction. And that's the really nice piece about putting all of these slides together, is that you're able to pull the pieces that make sense, whether you're doing summer intervention or working with students in the future. When we look at the parts of the um, social emotional learning framework or instructional framework, as well as the Pirate Math Equation Quest pieces, we tried to make the slides easy to identify. So we always use those treasure map backgrounds with red, green, and blue to get to the warm openers, engaging activities, and hopeful closures. And then the pirate math pieces are a little clearer so that you're able to see where you're at. We're gonna talk about the math fact fluency in another video. Equation Quest is moving students from arithmetic to algebra. It emphasizes the equal sign, as well as how to set up equations that go with word problems and then how to solve those. Buccaneer problems is where we're building number sense. That's the meat of our lesson. And that's why we decided to include number talks for all 39 of the lessons for you. Ship shape sorting is helping us to move from teaching word problems with keywords, which has been completely debunked by research. And now that we know better, hopefully we can do better. And they provide us with help looking at schemas. The Jolly Roger Review, offers a one minute and a two minute timing. The one minute is just simple calculation problems and the two minute is looking at a word problem efficiently. There's a nice chart that explains how all of the lessons are scaffolded. And we know that no one has time to go through all 39 lessons. So we're hoping to give you enough information that you can pick and choose the pieces that are a good match for your students and how to move them forward. Part of the fun of having the digital activity are having tracking sheets. So we gave you a couple different versions of a treasure map. We have an endless number of gold coins that can be dragged as students earn them throughout the intervention. You can double click on the student and add the student's name. You can further customize their treasure map by clicking on background and letting the student decide what color treasure map they would like to have. This also makes it easier when you look on the left here of how you're able to see all the different student tracking sheets within your Google Slideshow. If you need more, you can always click on the slide on the left and hit Control D, and then it will make a copy of that slide so you can actually create one copy for each one of your students. And we know that student tracking progress is really important to them moving forward. We'll talk about fluency and ship shape sorting in our next video, but we did want to highlight the fact that we have links to all of the individual lessons so you don't have to scroll through all of the hundreds of slides. And then just to help you key in and look on the left here, where we're seeing that black background for each one of the lessons, followed by the warm opener, the engaging activities, equation quest, the number talk, our buccaneer problems, our Jolly Roger review and our hopeful ending. So hopefully these color codes will make it easier for you to find the pieces that you need quickly and be able to spend your time working with students. Thanks for checking in.